Hi everyone, in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to use logs to solve exponential equations. You're used to seeing exponentials like this when we have a common basis. So how would, let's recall, how to figure out how to solve this problem using common basis. Well, we want to find a base that I could rewrite 64 with, that I could also write 16 with. Um, I'm going to use the base of 4. 64 is the same thing as saying 4 to the third, and I'm going to raise that to the x power. And 16 is the same thing as saying 4 squared. I'm going to simplify the left-hand side. Now that I have common bases, I can cross them off and set the exponents equal to each other and solve. So the answer is 2 thirds. All right. Now I'm going to show you another method how you can actually solve the same exact thing but using logs. So what you want to do first is simply log both sides. So log 64 to the x equals log of 16. This is kind of that expression, whatever you do to one side, as long as you do it to the other, you're good to go. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm going to put a log to this side and a log to this side. And then the way that we solve the equation is that we use one of those log properties. We drop it like a tot, drop the exponent. So x times log of 64 equals log of 16. And the only way to get x by itself is to divide by log of 64. So x is equal to whatever this is. So in your calculator, please type in log of 16 divided by log of 64. And please remember to make sure that you are putting parentheses around the numerator and parentheses around the denominator, just to make sure that you get the correct answer. Pause the video until you've done so. All right, you should be getting the same thing. You should be getting 2 thirds. Now, obviously, common bases is much quicker. But what if I give you an example such as this example here, number one? You should be saying to yourself, well, there's absolutely no way that I can find a common base between three and five. So that's exactly the reason why we need to use this other method. So let's write in this box above here. So when you can't find a common base, then you must use logs to solve. And the steps are outlined here, kind of like what I just did. You want to isolate the base with the variable that's in the exponent. So isolate the base that's a 3 with the variable in the exponent. Log both sides. So let's do that with example number 1. Log both sides. So log to the 3x equals log to the 5. Drop it like a tot is the next step. See, I'm reading from here. Drop it like a tot. So x times log of 3 equals log of 5. And again, to get x by itself, we'll just divide by log 3. Okay, pause the video again, put this into the calculator, see what you get. Again, make sure you're putting the top in parentheses and the bottom in parentheses. Okay, so you should be getting approximately 1.46. I said here around to the nearest hundredth. That's your final answer. All right, let's try a different example. So the first step is always to isolate the base. So here's the base, 12, with the variable in the exponent. You cannot multiply these two things together. I know some of you want to, but we actually have to use order of operations. We would have to take 12, raise it to whatever power, then multiply it by 12. So we actually need to divide both sides by 12 to get rid of the 12 on the outside. All right, so if you do that, you get 12 to the x equals, now all I'm going to do now is simplify this. So in the calculator, 500 divided by 12, it actually doesn't go in evenly, so I'll make it a fraction, 125 over 3. Okay, now again, it's very not going to be easy to find a common base, so we're going to log both sides, so log 12 to the x equals log, I'm going to put this like this, 125 over 3. Now we're going to take the power, drop it like a tot, so x times log of 12 equals log of 125 over 3. Divide both sides by log 12 to get x by itself. 
All right, now pause the video and please type in log of 125 over 3 divided by log of 12. Okay, so you should get approximately 1.50. Okay, let's move on to another example. Okay, example number three. Again, we want to isolate the base. So this base right here is what we need to isolate. So we're going to add three first. And we have six to the two x equals 103. Again, log both sides. Now this power is a little different. We're going to take this whole thing and drop it like a tot. So 2x times log of 6 equals log of 103. Now in order to get this x by itself, we're going to actually have to do it in two steps. We're going to have to divide by the log of 6 first. And then whatever answer you get in the calculator, you're going to just divide by 2 at the end to get x by itself. So pause the video and type this part in. Log of 103 divided by log of 6. So this gives you approximately 2.5866 dot 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 dot. Divide that by 2 and you should get 1.29. Okay. Example number four is a little bit different because it requires an E. The E is the base here. Now, it's more proper to use LNs whenever we have E because LN is log base E. So I'm going to show you how I would solve this one. First, isolate the base, isolate the E. So we have E to the 2x equals 10. Now, instead of logging both sides, we're going to LN both sides. So we'll LN this side and LN this side. So we're going to LN 10 and ln e to the 2x. We can take the power, drop it like a tot. So 2x times ln of e equals ln of 10. Now the reason why we ln both sides, because we have that e, right, is because ln of e is something very special. So please pause the video and type in ln e in your calculator. The ln button is found next to the 4. Okay, so type in ln of e and you're going to notice something. ln of e should equal 1. So that's pretty unique, so we actually don't even need to do anything with it now. So we have 2x equals ln of 10. Divide both sides by 2. And x is equal to whatever ln of 10 divided by 2 is. So type that into the calculator and hit resume when finished for your answer. Okay, you should be getting 1.15. Okay, cool. Let's I'd actually like you to try number 5 on your own. Um, I'm going to skip to number 6 for now because number 6 is a little bit tricky. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do with number 6 is isolate the base, right? So we're going to divide the 2 like we did before. And we have 3 to the 2x plus 1 equals 15. Now again, we log both sides. And we take the power and drop it like a tot. Okay. So this is a little funny because if I'm writing it like this, it looks like it's 2.2x plus 1 times log of 3. It looks like I'm just multiplying the 1 by it. So technically, it's this whole thing. So be very careful with that, that you're going to divide by log of 3 and you're left with 2x plus 1 equals whatever log of 15 divided by log of 3 is. So take a minute, put in log of 15 divided by log of 3, and hit enter. Okay, so you should be getting approximately 2.4649 dot 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 dot. So I leave the calculator as is with all of that in it, and then I subtract 1, so to hit minus 1. 
So it's, in your screen, it should say answer minus 1. And then you're left with 2x equals 1.4649, dot, 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 dot. Divide both sides by 2. And your answer is x equals 0.73. Okay? So I did that on purpose with writing all of these decimals out because you don't want to round early. You always want to round at the end to make sure you get all of the decimal points that you possibly can. Okay, so try number five now, since we skipped over that one, and then hit resume for the final answer. Okay, here's my work. At this time, please copy down anything that you got wrong, and we'll go over all of this in class tomorrow. So jot down any questions that you might have. All right, have a good night.